Right. Right. It is uh, day four now. Um, I decided to have a little bit of a break so it wasn't quite so sort of running commentary. I think I made five vids on the first day. Um, but you kind of, you have to, you have to with this stuff. Um, I think it did happen on the concerto a little bit. People were sort of saying, are you, are you not a little bit obsessed with this? And it's like, well, I have an obsessive mind, which again, isn't actually my fault and isn't me being a, a weirdo. Obsessive. It's an insult, isn't it, being obsessive? It's not. It's a fucking horrible symptom is what obsession is. Because um, obsession, we instantly think of relationships as some weird, creaky perv, don't we? I think, well, that's the way it, that's the way the word gets interpreted. And it's just it's just cyclical fucking thoughts like the overthinking or obsession. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, something to be spat at. Words to be spat out. Stop fucking overthinking. Obsessive cunt. Paranoid prick. They're actually symptoms. <laughs> you fucking stomachache wanker. <laughs> stomachache wanker. I just farted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wonder if that comes out on video. I wonder if the the audio made it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm a little twat. Right, so today, what's going on today? Um, I've done all right today, actually. I have handled the dreaded last-minute cancellation. Two of them. Two of them. And it's one of those things, there's, like, there's quite a lot to the old last-minute cancellation for me. Because it kind of starts out as like, I'm not fucking about, when your life is this fucking bleak and it is just, each day is just another 10,000th day of just, ugh. And you're trying to connect with people and everyone's busy, everyone's busy. I've just learned no one's busy, what I am is not high enough up on the list of anyone's priorities. And I'm not saying that with any bitterness, it's just a fucking fact. And people start, I've been so busy, I've been so good. No, you've been doing what you wanted to do more. That's what you've been doing. People do the things that they want to do. They've got the things that they have to do and they need to do. And then the things that they want to do. And those are the things that they do. <laughs> people vote with their feet. This world is full of people trying to convince you that they really wanted to do something well while they were doing something else. It's just to someone like me, mate, I need clear communication. I keep insisting upon it. <laughs> and when people say the opposite of what they're doing, it, I have a real fucking issue with that. Um, so then what happens is I start to feel really like, you know, happy. I've got something to do. I've got a person to go and see a thing to go and sit in a cafe and have a coffee with someone. And that becomes like a fucking highlight. And then I feel like a sad cunt. Anyone would. You think, fucking hell, look at you, mate. It's only a fucking coffee. Because that's all it fucking is. But when there's literally, I mean, like, pfft. Let's say I see my favourite human sometimes once a week. I didn't see her this week. It's not abnormal. I can go three weeks without seeing her. Like, it's just, I, I know her. <laughs> She is she is much more the person that gets in touch than I am, actually. If we've not spoken for a week or two, it's nearly always her that notices and asks how I am. <laughs> um, so I didn't see her this week. But, like, very often, that's the... I, you know, that can really often be the only social life I get. I want to go down the barbers and I hang out there and, you know, for half an hour now and then. Um... And they're nice, I get on well with them. They're my mates, pretty much. But, you know, we don't know each other that well. And it's like, I, you know, I'm always welcome there. Unless I walk in and I see that, like, they're, they're cutting air and there's people sitting down. And I say hello and I go, mate, I'll leave you to it. And I bounce. Um, but again, it's like, oh, I've got to go down there to make it happen. The rest of my life is just so utterly bleak. And no, it's not my perception because I've had a life for quite a long time and it's gone up and down. For a long time. I know what fucking popular is. Don't fucking tell me I'm popular. I'm well known. <laughs> I know what popular is because I've been popular. <laughs> um, so there's that. 
is the fact that I'm beating my fucking self up for being happy about the fact that, oh, yay, I've got a friend. Billy No Mates can go and fucking see someone. It makes me feel fucking tragic, mate. And it's actually just a friend who's got a bit of time for me. And then when they cancel, the first thing is I've got all the schemas come up of that's because they don't like you, that's because you're annoying, that's because they don't give a fuck about you. And that's all stuff that I know is is perceptual, but it's not perceptual like you think it is. This shit's fucking automatic, mate. Like, imagine every single insecurity that you had as a 13-year-old suddenly doubling in size and being indelible. It's basically what fucking schizoid shit is like. And I mean fucking indelible. Don't think I can't try to think my way out of things. Don't think I can't, because I used to be able to. <laughs> so I'm not fucking catastrophizing this. I always get accused of being firmly stuck in wanting to be ill. Like, no. I'm firmly stuck in knowing how to be ill and to live normally. There's a fucking major difference. But then the other thing is about it when they cancel is it's just the matter of facticalness that I've like been bored fuckless for four days, scratching my fucking ass, or scared to go out, or whatever the fuck's been going on. And then I'm in the middle of getting ready and I've got a positivity about me and it's like, oh, dear, fuck's sake. And that floors me. And then that makes me hate me. Because to anyone else, if someone cancels on a coffee, they're like, oh, fuck, actually, do you know what? Now I can get that done. They are busy. They do have a life. But to someone like me, it just fucking feels like my world's ended. But it didn't today. It didn't today. There was the, the, the usual fucking judgments and fucking disappointments and fucking upsetness comes up because because I'm also know that I'm hypersensitive I'm a fucking pain in the bum mate it's why I'm single I know I know why I'm single I've got every fucking knowledge of why I'm single I'm not fucking I ain't got fuck all about me I'm not anything and I'm not going anywhere at the moment I could I could <laughs> I wouldn't want to be with anyone until I can show them what they're fucking getting this is me. This is what I'm doing. This is where I'm going. Do you want to join me? Because <laughs> um, at the moment, I ain't nothing but a fucking liability to anyone. I ain't going to bring fuck all to a relationship but this shit. And that's why I need to learn how to deal with it. So, today I did. A d double fucking whammy of it. And I wasn't flawed by it. It was oh, oh, all right. Whatever. Because quite often when I'm replying, I'm really upset because I'm actually hurt. And then I hate myself for that. I hate the fact that I feel hurt. I feel rejected. And I can't fucking shake it. And my conscious mind knows it's all fucking wrong. The exactical things that you would all try to ram down my throat if I dared to speak about it is all going on in my fucking head to try and fight this shit that's happening anyway. So when I talk, I can't, I, I don't want to because I've just, don't want to feel like be you know being moody about it because then I'll be accused of being manipulative. So then if I'm upset, I'm automatically manipulative. It's fucking weird. It is fucking weird. <laughs> but I just I did just sort of get on. I got loads done. I washed all my fucking I've changed all my bedding. I've up to date on my laundry. <laughs> Literally up to date. Apart from the clothes I'm wearing now, obviously. But my laundry bin is fucking empty. It's not been empty in weeks. <laughs> We, I've got a lot of clothes, you see. I can literally just keep wearing clothes for probably several weeks <laughs> without washing anything. <coughs> um, but yeah, it's the one thing that has maintained since I started taking these tablets is that that kind of weird despair isn't there. Like, I'm still getting my lost moments. I'm still getting my... You know, it's, it's not completely cured a lot of stuff, but there's not that kind of weariness that goes with it. When this shit just keeps happening, it's like, oh, I just want to fucking roll over and fucking die. But I can't. I can sleep. That's how it gets. And I know lots of people get like that. I just don't want to fucking sleep. So I don't want to fucking be aware of this shit. I don't want to fucking exist. Existing. Tick tock. The existence of me is painful. 
That's all I can fucking describe it as. Um, and, you know, none of this shit feel, would fill anyone with a lot of confidence. You know, how can you not come across as fucking needy as fuck when things mean that much to you? But then another part of me thinks, well, no, because that's just because it's me. I'm always getting accused of making too much of everything. Well, I think, well, no, I can make fucking adventures out of fuck all. I'd bring a lot to small moments. I can fucking glorify things for what they can really make a lot out of small fucking moments. Why shouldn't I? That's me. But when you're this fucked up lonely and just fucking despairing, how can you not be needy? How can you not be needy? How can you not seem needy? And oh God, as soon as someone's needy, that's another fucking insult, isn't it? Ugh, ugh, needy. Don't need you anywhere near me. Like all you're doing when you do that to someone who's being needy is making them fuck loads worse. That's all you're doing. Um, how can anyone not be needy when people get this fucking isolated? I've heard a... Um, Heard the phrase a couple of times over the last couple of days about self-isolating. And I think, yeah, but what about when the world's isolating me? Because that's what makes it harder to take when people cancel. It's that, that constant feeling of no one wants you around. And then how do subconsciouses learn? With evidence of what they see. And it's really hard not to see evidence. So I've got a overthink, to try and fucking cure my way out of it, to try and fucking deal with the shit that you all say, I can just snap my fingers and make go away. I've got to sit there and fucking really think fucking hard over it and sort my shit out. And that is exhausting. And you think, well, I'm doing that to the level of a fucking cup of coffee. How the fuck can I handle anything? Uh, and that's that thing that, that's what I said to Dr. Bleakerty. I feel fucking pointless and I'm fucking afraid I still do. I don't feel worthless. But then no one's fucking seeing my worth. They might tell me about it occasionally. But it's not going anywhere. Nothing of me is going anywhere. I'm not affecting anything. Other than to try and stop me wanting to fucking die. A lot of the time. But that's just the way it is. I'm not actually that fucking sad about it. It's just the more I fucking take the power out of it, and I take the power out of it by fucking owning it. And you lot won't let me. You lot insist that that is the wrong thing to do. And all that does, I'm afraid, my dear, is prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you do not know what I'm going through. <laughs> Ta-da! That's how people like me insist that we know when we say, you've got no idea what I'm going through, and you get all like... How can you? How can you know what I'm feeling? Because of the attitude that you're demonstrating. Because of your outlook to what's actually happening. <laughs> That's why. So this shit isn't fucking easy. It isn't easy. But so fucking what? I've got a clean bed. My room's nearly clean and tidy. I am going to the gym. I'm happy about that. <laughs> I'm happy about that. I didn't go yesterday. Um, but my leg day is a fairly fucking low level affair. It's um, shoulders back and thighs today. I can do a bit of legs while I'm there. I'm just doing an extra 20 minutes. But I actually want to go. I want to go now. I want to go. Um, and I like wanting to go. I love it when I want to go. I love it when I'm itching to go to the gym. That's a really good sign in me. If I just want to fucking lift. I'm, I don't. Like lifting is therapeutic. But. Um, I don't tend to lift when I'm really down I don't tend to lift to try and get myself out of it no it's more of a thing when you're doing it regularly you start to see the trend just goes up so um that's what I'm going to do this video is really long so I'm going to can it 